Welcome back to the channel, guys. So it looks like Jason um, Aldean's so new song have everybody in the uproar. Well, you know, the left. Now, all of a sudden, he's stereotyping. It's racist. They, they, they are going in right now, right? Once, once again, once again, the left is telling black America that what is racist and what is not. How are you going to try to tell me what I heard in the song? I listened to the song multiple times. Everything he said in that song was the truth. He called it like he saw it, like the rest of us see it. But that's what the left do. You see, Jason's song is what the definition of woke is. He's aware of the nonsense that's going on in America. So he's calling it out. The left definition of woke is we should not pay attention to all that chaos that's going on. All the smash, grab, the carjacking. We should not pay attention to none of that. That is normal. That's what they want you to believe. But what's really going on is that you're destroying your own community. You're destroying your own people. But the left said they care about, about, about who? Black America? Well, if you care, you won't be putting up with that nonsense. You won't be having that nonsense going on. So when somebody calls it out that is white, it's racist. Because he's telling the truth. I listened to the song multiple times. And everything he said is the truth. I didn't hear any lies. But they make it seem like it's a lie. All because he's waking people up to what's really going on. The left don't want that. They don't want, they don't want that out there. What you mean they have to stop looting? What you mean they have to stop carjacking? What you mean? They don't have to stop? What are you talking about? They want you to self-destruct. That's what the left does. They want to condone that type of behavior. But you know what? I got a few people here. I got a few videos, a few people here. And let's hear their opinion about it. So y'all know why liberals and leftists have a problem with Jason Aldean's new song, Try That in a Small Town, right? On the surface, they say that it's because it's dog whistling to racism. But you and I know that the liberals will stretch like Mr. Fantastic to attach <laughs> anything to racism. And if you listen to the lyrics of the song, it doesn't allude to anything racist at all. The real reason why they hate the song is because it is someone standing up to their nonsense. Basically saying, you hit me, I'm going to hit you back, but I'm going to hit you back much harder and make sure you're not able to hit ever again. Mm -hmm. They say uh, the song reeks of violence. Well, yeah, you guys started it first. Half my life I grew up in the big city and the other half I was in a small town. And these liberals want to act like black people or Hispanics don't ever live in small towns. And trust me, people that live in small towns, no matter what their color or race or whatever you want to call it, all believe the same thing. If you poke the bear long enough, the bear's probably going to bite your face off. But it was your fault for poking the bear in the first place. You pretty much said the same thing I said. It's like, they should make everything about racism. No, he's just telling the truth. You can't condone this type of stuff that's going on. And it's so sad that, that now that we're talking about that, this type of behavior that's going on in the communities, look what happened to um Gilly the Kid's son. His son got gunned down in Philly. Gunned down at 25 years old. And two other um, people he was with, they got shot too. They're still in the hospital. But Giddy the kid's son passed away. And, and Giddy tried to, tried to talk to him, tried to tell him about that street life. Died. I think, that, yeah, it was like a day and a half ago. 25 years old. Just starting that life. Sad, man. But hey, that's what the left does. The left try to make you, they try to tell you how you should feel. Can you imagine that? That's called brainwash. Are you going to tell me how I should feel if I listen to the song? I don't hear anything wrong with the song. Just telling the truth. But now you telling me that I should listen to the song and just hear negative stuff about it. I saw some girl on TikTok, some well another white liberal. She was like, she's breaking down the song. She said, "Is this this right here? This is stereotyping. This is him pretty much telling you, he's warning you that if you don't stop this, black people, the KKKs are going to do something about it." I was just like, "Really? You think the KKK is going to do something about?" Black Americans in those communities destroying their own communities. That's what they would want. I was just like, she can't be this stupid. But hey, this is the timeline that we're in right now. This is Jason Aldean. Jason Aldean put out a song called Try That in a Small Town, and liberals are losing their minds about it. They say the song is racist against black people. Well, I'm black, and I've listened to the song approximately 152 times, and I can't find any racism in it. The only racism I've seen is not from the song, but from the response of racist white liberals who believe that he's talking about black people. 
If you believe that lyrics like sucker punch somebody on a sidewalk and carjack mm -hmm. an old lady at a red light is talking about black people, then he's not the racist. You are. That's what same thing I I heard in the song. That's the same thing I heard in the song. I just saw him was it like about a couple of weeks ago. Some young man, I forget where it was down south, um, young black man went up to a, a older black woman. I should enter in a house and put um try to rob her, stick her up. She had like thirty dollars on her. Um, the camera caught him. Was arrested. What I think it was like maybe to the something hours later he was arrested. Well, he did. He had a gun on him too. Illegal. And guess how old he was? Nineteen years old. There's no respect for the elders anymore. You see, but that's what the left was condoning. How would you? How could you call? But how could you say somebody calling that out wrong? This is who you guys voting in there. So it's okay for for you to just stick up um people grandmothers mothers fathers. That's supposed to be okay. How about our, our accountability? Nah, they don't want to hear that either. So my man came home last night and basically gave me the rundown of what's been going on on social media, and he played Jason Aldean's new song, and I I I just I'm just at a loss for words for real. People are saying that this song is racist, and I listened to the song multiple times. My man played it for me. I woke up this morning and played it. I I've listened to it thoroughly. And I can honestly say, like, for the first time in a long time, that black people, like, you guys are wrong. There's nothing in this video that screams racism. Never once did he even talk about white, black, Mexican. He never once said anything about race. All he's simply saying is that all that vandalizing y'all doing, all that disrespectful stuff, all the things that you guys are doing during these riots that are, are showing no home training, try that shit in a small town. He's saying that in the small town, they stand together, they stick up for each other, you know, they're like mm -hmm. family, unlike people in the city. That's what he's saying. Try that shit in a small town. You're not going to get very far. You're, it, it's not going to work out for you. See how far that gets you. That's all he's saying. And for whatever reason, people feel like he's talking about black people. He never once said any race in this whole song. He never even showed any black people in his video. So where are y'all getting this from? You know, usually I'll stand by my black people, but at this point, y'all are wrong. Y'all very wrong. Very narrow-minded to even think for a second that this man is trying to be racist. Like... I don't get it. It's, it's, it's a lot of other videos too, but um, because to show you right there that he just he's calling out bad behavior that the left is condoning the the slap on the wrist penalty for crimes if you steal a certain amount of money if you steal I think it's like nine hundred I forget the exact amount but I guess it's like nine hundred and something dollars then they could charge you but if you don't if you steal eight hundred dollars worth of stuff we can't charge you. That's not condoning this type of nonsense that's going on out here. People going in the store, coming up with cart full of stuff. You know, when, when did you ever see stuff like that happen? Before 2020. I can remember seeing that in um, 2018, 17, 16, 15, 14. I can't remember seeing none of that. And I mean, like, it's everywhere. But, but that's what he's talking about. It's a lack of respect. People have no morals. There's no integrity. There's no respect. People just don't, they just don't care. And that's what he's calling out. But if the shoe fits, wear it. <laughs> That's it. Accountability, man. Maybe he just cares about America. That's it. He's seeing what you see what's happening to America. It's going where? Down. Down. He just calling out the bad behavior. And yes, a lot of it happened in the black communities. Yes, the carjacking. Yes, the drive-bys. Yes, the shootings. Yes, the lootings. It goes on and on and on. And the left is promoting that without showing that they're promoting it. You see what I'm saying? But give me guys think about the video in the comments. Give me guys think about the song in the comments. I totally like the song. I love the song. We need more truth tellers of that out there. You don't hear rappers telling the truth like that. Well, show me through a song. Like one of the rappers that has a name. No, they don't. So shout out to Jason for that. We needed that right now in 2023. We need some people to call out the nonsense that's going on. The nonsense that's being condoned. That shouldn't be condoned. From the people that's running the country. Unbelievable, man. Hey, I love the song. Hey, until then, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, share, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the video and about the song in the comments. And until then, I'll see you guys next video.
Peace out. You guys have a blessed day.